Really? When Kevin Spacey was booted from the movie All the Money in the World, Christopher Plummer was recast in his role, which meant they had to reshoot scenes. Michelle Williams quickly agreed, even waiving her standard fee. But Mark Wahlberg's contract did not cover reshoots, and according to USA Today, he refused to do it unless he got paid. Reports say she made $80 a day for the reshoots, while Wahlberg made a reported $1.5 million. Last year, Forbes put Wahlberg as the highest paid actor at $68 million, while the highest paid actress, Oscar winner Emma Stone, was at $26 million. Last month, E! Network host Kat Sadler quit after learning her on-air male counterpart was making nearly twice as much. It's reflective of society values men more than women. It's hurtful. It really is. And it's there's too much of this going on in the world in all areas. On the streets of New York City, women and men weighed in on their experiences. And you think it's happened to you personally in the past? Yes. Over the years, I think it has. Where I've worked recently, in my last job, women were making the same as men. Only in the fashion industry, I think, will you see that women and models will get paid more than men models. But other than that, I usually feel like women and get the short end of the stick. According to the 2017 World Economic Forum's Global Gender Gap Report, at the current rate of change, the workplace gender gap will not be closed for 217 years. There's this societal expectation that women are not going to be aggressive or ambitious, and when they act in those ways, they're penalized. Bryce Covert is an independent journalist who writes about women, the economy, and politics. She says a big roadblock for women on the road to equal pay is lack of transparency about salaries. What are other people making? What are they asking for? Am I at a disadvantage? As for closing the gap, she says it's a tough path to navigate and should be case by case. But you have to look at who you're negotiating with, what position you're in with them, um, maybe what uh, evidence do you have or case to make that you deserve more pay than you're getting? Well, she adds, if you don't at least ask, you could be leaving money on the table. You may recall earlier this month, a law in Iceland went into effect, making it illegal to pay women less than men. Employers there must prove they pay men and women in the same jobs equally. Otherwise, they risk fines. Maurice, Christine. Great points there, Alice. Thank you.